the mist slowly began to clear. I stood on the edge of the road and marveled at the vista of the valley hundreds of meters below me. It is only then that I realized that beneath the road was an outcropping. And on the edge of that outcropping sat a young monk. He was sitting cross-legged on a sharp ledge that plummeted down to the bottom of a deep ravine. As I watched, he sat there in what appeared to be meditation. This picture has remained etched in my mind for nearly four decades. Even now, at any moment, I can close my eyes and think back to that very morning nearly 40 years ago. The vivid imagery will instantly fill my mind. In my travels as a youth, on one occasion, I was part of an unofficial rally of cars driving through the foothills of the Himalayas. Some of the trails that we drove through were precarious and dangerous. We had to stop many times to rest and assess our path. On one rest stop at a campsite high up in the mountains, I woke up to a misty morning and made myself a cup of hot coffee on our travel stove. As the sun began to rise, I carried my coffee to the edge of the road to take in the vista below, covered in swirling mist. And that's when I saw him, the monk. I wondered if he had been there all night, perched on the edge of the precipice. I watched in fascination as the rays of the sun slowly filled the valley with light, and the monk came out of his reverie. He stood up and stretched, still on the edge, making my heart miss a beat. He looked at the rising sun, let out a deep breath, and turned around to begin climbing back up to the road. As he came up to the road and started walking away, I approached him. Using one of our guides to help me translate, I asked him, why were you sitting on that ledge? Is that not risky being that close to the edge of an abyss? The young monk smiled and in a single sentence, in what appeared to be Tibetan, said something to my guide. His answer in translation led to the defining moment of my life. The young monk had said, are we all not just two minutes from the abyss anyway?